Howdy folks, Synthetic Mason here, and today we break it up with a teeny tiny little Ultra Magnus tutorial. Yeah. Um, soon I'm going to be going through tutorials on a handful more of these itty bitty teeny tiny Transformer, you guys. Um, but I thought I'd start off with the most complicated of the gang. Uh, he's literally the biggest, or the most pieces of all of my tiny transformers um so yeah ultra magnus one of my favorite transformers um he's no cup but he's pretty darn cool um but yeah so i've shown him before but he's a truck with a trailer uh car carrier son of a gun i didn't prepare again where is the transformer Got a little iron hide here. Plop iron hide right on top. Very nice. Carry him into battle. Yeah. So, and then for transformation, um, he literally like has a transformation. Um, we will stand him up, separate the tops, which are the arms, and then bam. Bring down the little shoulder pads there. But yeah, check that out. Ultra Magnus. Now, ideally, um, and I can't find the parts. But the gray innards of these one by two, well, I didn't mean to put, do that, but yeah, I need this in a blue, and then that in a red, and that would correct my remaining color blocking issues so that it could be a perfect Ultra Magnus representation. Um, but I just don't have that. Um, but yeah, kind of gives him like a head. You can see his like gray jaw. Um, white hands for his arms. The pylons aren't exactly properly represent represented. There's words. Um, but I do feel he gives look enough of Ultra Magnus that uh, there's not much question as to who this is. So yeah. Let's get on to a breakdown and then a brick up. So this would be his front cab parts. The light gray jumper plate doesn't necessarily need to be a light gray jumper plate. It should probably be a one by two light gray. But yeah, you get the idea. So for putting so for putting those together, we'll take this uh, one by two with a side clip. Put on what is going to be the tire blocking for the tires, color blocking, sorry. Um, you have the front bumper, which like I said, it doesn't need to be a jumper plate, it's just what I used. You'll take the 2x2 two two white plate, put those together, and we'll then have the 1x2 on the back, the trans clear 1x2 on the front, and then I'm using two one by two white tiles, you could use a two by two tile, but there's the front cab. For the arms, you'll need uh, these pieces for each, for both of the left and the right arm. And you'll put these together by starting with the one by two hinge brick, place on the one by two modified bar, add the red top clip to the top of that the 1x4 tile, and then the tiny white pip on the bottom. If you wanted, you could probably get away with a 1 by square pip. Um, I just use the, the round one because I think it's more convincing as a fist. But that gives you that nice up and down positioning. And you'll make two of these, uh, one facing this way, and one facing this way. These are the parts that you'll need for Ultra Magnus's upper torso. And now to put these together, you'll begin with the 1x2 modified with multiple positive studs going out. Place that on the 1x2 modified bracket. To make his chest piece, you will take the 1x square pip on the 1x tooth brick. Place that on top of all that. Set that to the side for a second. We'll then take the 1x3, sorry, 2x3. And place two more of the 1x2 bracket bits. We will then 
set that chest piece right in the center of it and that is where you will then attach your arms later and then we are going to make his belt which will go here but we're going to leave that off so that we can connect the lower body at that uh, one by stud. These are the parts that you'll need for Ultra Magnus' lower body. We'll start with the one by th or yeah, two by three and we will place the one by three uh, with one pip hanging off of the end there. We will then add the one by two in red and then the cheese wedge on the end there. We will then add a one by two blue on both sides. Oops, that's supposed to be down there. Bring in both of those one by two bits, and then you will take this uh, brand new weird modified one by three double jumper plate and put that on the end there. Adds like a back door, and there he is. And now to combine everything together. Um, I like to start with the centerpiece here. We'll take it and attach it to the legs. Add on his belt, which is how most people keep their pants attached to their body. Um, we'll then add the arms going on each opposite side here. And then four, which is funny, like, so it's the cab and it's also his chin. Cab, chin. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you've seen it before, as far as transformation. Um, you'll put his little bits towards the front there, and then to stand him up. And there he is. So there you go, folks. I appreciate you breaking it up with me today. Now you've got your very own Tiny Transformers Ultra Magnus. Please enjoy, guys. Like I said, I do have a handful on the way for these tutorials. Um, I've got some new stuff in the works, um, just as some random teasers. Uh, I have my old Reinhardt, which I didn't really even showcase to you guys, and a new Reinhardt in the works, which actually carries a minifigure. That's a thing on its way. Um, really quick, utterly random side note. I'm not a brick modifier, but uh, a few of you are familiar with this piece. It's like a bionicle, but where they were micro scale kind of figures. And this is like a hammer. Um, once again, I'm not a brick modifier, but tell me that's not the Matrix of Leadership, huh? To a couple of you guys out there that are braver than me to uh, modify bricks. That looks like a Matrix. I'm just saying. Anyways. As always, thanks for breaking it up with me, folks. And uh, hopefully the next one won't take me too long to get out there. Thanks.